Tuesday upload. This is going to be a new thing. Tuesdays are going to be for tips. So this can be from kit to Photoshop help, Photoshop tools, um, literally anything that I can help out on that you ask me via Instagram, comments below. So yeah, it's going to be a new little segment and it's going to be um, pretty good. So if you're new around here, I'm Alex. I'm called 85 mil Instagram. That's what people know me as. And um, I'm going to teach you some stuff. And today it is... Oh, this is a whack on pen, but I'm going to teach you about the pen tool on Photoshop. So yeah, let's, um, let's get into it. If you are new to Photoshop, there is, it's a confusing place. It's definitely a confusing place. And one of the main things people get Photoshop for is to cut things out and put them on a background. But then when they try and find something to cut that image out with, they're a bit baffled, a bit confused. Don't worry, we have all been there. So pathing is probably one of my favorites, personal favorites, but it's more for a hard edge. So if you've got a big distance behind you, or it's a very, very sharp line, like a, a can of Coke on a white background, a pen tool is perfect for that, or even a car a car in quite a complex background um, in a, a car park or something like that or a big barn you can really because you've got that sharp line of the car a path tool is perfect for that and I'm going to show you how to master the pen tool in this video the pen tool mastery so let's jump onto the computer and I'm going to show you how you can win at life with a pen tool pen tool we're on the computer, you can see these three different little lines. They're going to show you how to do a simple sort of path, a more complex sort of path, but it will get you going so you can sort of action them into what you need to path. So it's a good practice for you. I'm going to put whatever we work on on this screen, I'm going to be putting it into a folder in the links below so you can take them, practice them at your own time, or you can do it with me with the video so i'll tell you when i move on to another photo and i'll link it with the name so you can literally follow perfectly along with us okay so there's a couple of things about path you need to know which is actually very key things paths are edit editable at any time instead of using a magic wand and selecting everything you can sort of select at any time with a mask but it's a lot more complicated but with a path you can go in at any point and just move a point down, move it around and manipulate it. That's why paths are so brilliant. Another key thing about paths is the fewer the points, the better the path. So instead of using 50 paths to make a circle, you do it with four. Instead of going doom, 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 that'll actually, it won't be a smooth circle. It'll be more like what? A 50 sided, I'm not even sure what that is. A, um, a hexagon? No, a hexagon's like eight, isn't it? But yeah, you catch it. Fewer points make better paths. Okay, so let's get onto these paths in front of us. So, path tool P, or it's on your right hand side over here, underneath Dodge and Burn. Video coming soon. So, path tool, cool little tip. Up here, you've got a little, uh, little gear. So if you can't see certain colors or your eyes react to different colors, you can pick out lots of colors that work with you. Especially if you're working on a dark image and you need to path it out, you can choose a bright color to pass, so yellow, blue, that sort of thing. So you can change it. What, we're gonna go for green. Always make sure this is ticked here, rubber band. So you can see the line, where the line comes from. Because if we cancel that off, if we take rubber band off, you don't know where your path is going. It's just a point. So you really need to know where your ending is so you can curve it and you know exactly you're hitting your line. Always have rubber band on. Great thing about path as well. If you want to undo, you just command Alt Z it and it just goes bang, bang, bang all, with, all through. So if you do mess up anywhere, don't worry, you can command shift it. So, okay, from the start, point at the end and point here or you can hold shift 
this locks it to your horizontal line. Even though my thing, if my point's up here, it will always bring it down to exactly horizontal. So another little tip, shift, shift is good. So shift and then click, and then that's your point. But you can come over here, click off your part, click back onto it, and you've just got your line path there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna name these. So we're gonna call this horizontal. That'll do. All right, first path done. Again, start at the beginning. What we're gonna do here is a point here and a point here. You can click, so you're holding down. That is either a mouse or a Wacom pen, whatever you're using, and you're gonna drag. Just drag it out. Keep it clicked, just drag it out so you can move and manipulate this line until it hits. And there we go. And then your point's here. And what we're gonna do here with the arm, we're gonna hit Alt. This is gonna manipulate your two arms so that path knows where to go. So we're gonna Alt and drag this up, uh, not too far, so yeah, there we go, and that, you're going to drag out again, drag, 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 manipulate it to our line, and there we go, and then if you need to change it again, you can hit Alt, and just, just bring it down, and then it's perfect, if I zoom in on this, Alt, and you can drag it, so on your arms, you can manipulate it further than it is. Horizontal, yeah. Just make a new path. So we've got those two there and a new path here. So this is gonna be a little bit different. So really you wanna know where this start point and end point ends so you can see it on the line. So you're gonna start off on your left hand side, P for path, and then drag. And what we're gonna do with Alt again, we're gonna cancel this arm. So then we can start fresh. There we go, or we can continue on without hitting Alt. Manipulate it on, you catch your drift. So you can go all the way in here, this one's a bit more different. We might actually have to add a point. So if you just, you don't have to click anything, you just float, float your mouse until you see a little plus sign come up. I'll zoom in so you can see it. Bang, plus sign, and make a point, and then we can drag this down. And then again, with Alt, you can manipulate paths, manipulate, drag it. So with your command key, you can hit any point at any point and you can drag if you need to. Ooh, there we go. Doop, 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 doop. And we can finish this off quickly, go through it, speed this up, doop, doop, doop. click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, we'll just move this over a little bit, there we go. On this one, click this over a little bit. We get three paths quite quickly. So, to recap on that, you click, you click again, and you drag. You drag so you can make this more complex sort of path, and then you can cancel that with your Alt key. And you can take your points with your command key and you can move it wherever you want. So click and drag, move it around. So you can get points if you need them. Instead of a smooth curve, you've got a point. But yeah, that's for basics, that's sort of it. Let's take it onto an image so we can transfer that over. So here I've got the can JPEG if you wanna open that, if you're following along. So yes, we could come in here and magic wand it, but where your whites, your highlights, you're not gonna see it. You've lost all of this here. So magic wand is not always the answer. So yeah, we'll get our path. We click, we drag, we click, we drag. 
zoom in so you can see the edge a bit better with the command key you can drag your points around and then manipulate the arms little arms and then click and drag click and drag all the way around speed this up There you go, that is part. So once you can come over here and command click and it will select your path. Or you can right click on it and make selection. And you can feather it slightly so it's not as sharp. Or you can, once your path is selected, you can command enter and it will select it for you. So it will just command J, it will bring it up onto a new layer. Pick a new layer and fill that with black. And there is our can, perfectly cut out. So we can see on some edges, just here, we'll save it, double click on your path, you can save it, can. So now I can make another path and all of my paths will be there. So you can come back and edit it. So if we come back into this, so P for your path, your, your pen tool, then you can hit command and just click on here, like your path. And then we're gonna add in another point. So you just search over it until it finds it. I'm just gonna drag this in a little bit. So you get that nice sharp red edge. I'm just gonna bring these points in, drag it in. And what we're gonna do, command enter again. This time we're gonna invert it, command shift I. And there we go, we've got a nicer edge now. So that was very, very quick, but it's just clicking, dragging, clicking, dragging, and just manipulating those points so they sit directly on there. Let's take it to the third image. This is the bird. This is a bit different because you can use a few different ways to select this. Like a path could work if you feather the edges. Feather, bird, feather, bird. But let's try it with the path selection more selection videos will be coming so keep an eye out for them because it's good to know lots of different ways to select so on here we can path but we need sharper lines because obviously feathers so instead of clicking and dragging we're more just clicking especially around here you can click Alt to cancel the arms off. And there we go, we can get much sharper lines. But when you need those curves, you click and drag, click and drag. Just don't lift your mouse. Let's just cut out his head. It's just, so these are sharper lines, clicking and dragging. On this, obviously, there's going to be a lot more points than, say, a circle or a can or something like that because there's a lot more in depth. But don't worry, it'll, it'll be fine. So we're just gonna click around here. I'm just gonna chop the little birdie's head off. Just make some feathers up, there we go. Perfect. Command enter. Command J, chuck it up on a new layer. Bring up a new layer. Fill it up, and there we go. We have got a bird's head. A bit morbid, I know. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna select our path. We're gonna right click make selection, but when this comes up, we're gonna add a little feather in there. So what I'm gonna do is do 1.3, and then Command I on the end of selection, and then delete. Might help if I had the layer on the right one. Just gonna chuck in a new color layer, there we go. All right, so you select your path, come over here, right click, make selection, 0.3, perfect. Just invert that, delete it, and then we've got a little bit of a feather on there. So it's not as sharp, so it sort of morphs into the feathers. So from that, we've got our practice pen, your curves clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging, 
and manipulating those little arms. And then we've got the can where you can put all of them together to actually cut up, cut up the big object with sharper edges and smoother edges. And of course the bird using a few more little points so you can get more jagged sort of edges. And other than that, keep on practicing. I know how frustrating it is. Keep practicing, you will master it. If you've got any, if you've got any questions, chuck them down below. I will be helping you out, so don't worry. I hope this helps. So back to Alex in the studio. And now you are a master. You are a master of the pen tool. To become a master though, you need really to practice. I know how ugh, annoying the pen tool can actually be, but I really hope these steps that I showed you help you overcome those worries you actually had with the pen tool because I know how easy it is to just grab the magic wand and go boop and you think that's good but oh no no you know the path tool now I hope that helped and um well if you've got this far chuck in the comments what is your favorite thing about the pen tool or what do you hate most about the pen tool I look forward to seeing them because I know there's probably going to be a few of them but I've been Alex don't forget to like and subscribe if you already haven't, chuck the bell on because apparently that actually shows when I upload because YouTube is lovely, a lovely place. So yeah, I've been Alex. See you later. See you Tuesday or Sunday. Peace.